Um, I felt that it was important to do a video. A lot of times I just post stuff online and it's just words. People may read it and may not read it, but I felt like um, a video where you could put a face um, behind uh, what it is that you know I'm, I'm fighting for, and as well as many other you know fathers and 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 uh, moms are fighting for as well, and and that is um, uh, equal unimpeded access to both parents for for all the children in America. Why that's not. Um, the standard is beyond me. Um, you can link it to uh, Title 4D and the, and the millions of dollars that um, states get uh, for the amount of child support that gets funneled through the Child Support Services Division or, um, you know, the amount of funding they get from the federal government for every parent that is deemed a uh, or every family where one parent's been deemed the primary physical custodian, you know. Um, my grandfather always said, if you want answers, you know, follow the money trail and, and, and that's where it's led me. Um, but today, uh, you know, I saw where a father was murdered, shot and killed, um, on, um, during a scheduled visitation that he had fought so hard for to see his kids. And, um, the fact that there's no media coverage, um, no elected officials are, are outraged by this is, 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 um, probably the most uh, disappointing thing I've, I've ever ever heard or or witnessed in my life um, there's you know fathers that commit suicide every day and millions of children are you know um, lacking um, a father in their life and you know the deadbeat dad thing is has, has been around for for decades and um, you know as a father myself you know I'm not saying that all fathers are created equally but there's a lot of us that want to be in our kids' lives and we, and we fight for years and years and some of us give up and some of us don't. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm asking every American, whether you're a mother or a father, you know, I don't care what race, religion, you know, sex, where you're from or, or whatever, but um, I really would like to see everyone unite as one. Um, to protect the basic human rights and the constitutional rights that our children should be afforded, and that is to have equal unimpeded access to both parents. There's no way that the government should be involved with awarding custody to one or the other parent. Um, there are parents out there that are unfit, and I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, is that, you know, they need to prove that that parent's unfit. No false allegations, none of that crap, okay? Um, but it's it's our children's right to have both parents equally in their lives. And the government is not doing that. I mean, it, sh it should be crimes against minors, in my opinion. And all of these elected officials are all about this energy shit and all these executive orders that Biden's passing. And in the comments below this, I'm going to put a letter that I send to the White House and to elected officials every day to the media. Um, I usually send like 30 or more a day. At this point, I'm, I'm looking at trying to get on um, a talk show or I'm hoping the media will reach out to me local or, or, or national, um, getting billboards. But the bottom line is, is that um, we need to unite as one. And, we, and, it, and it's not about father's rights or mother's rights or child support it's about what's best for the future of this country which which is which is all that all the children you know i, I want to say it's like 24 million kids that that are affected and don't have equal access to both parents and that that that's not that's uncalled for and and our and our government and the media is failing us right they're they're approving um you know uh laws and, and executive orders for some of the smallest percentages of demographics in this country. Meanwhile, you know, they're doing nothing f for the kids, nothing. Um, and that's the future, right? And, and, and if you go through and look back at some of these active shooters, you know, look, look at, look at some of them, most of them are, ha didn't have fathers in their lives. And I can't say whether that father wanted to be in their life or not, but the government should not be allowed to dictate whether or not a father can or can't be in a child's life or a mother for that matter. So, um, I'm pretty fired up and, um, you know, I've been working really hard for about the last three years 
And even if my kids don't reap the benefits of, 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 of the war that I'm waging against family court and, and pushing these elected officials to do their damn job, um, I'll, I'll keep fighting. And even if I have to do it by myself, I will. You know, I just, I just ask that um, if, if you believe in this and you believe that all of our children deserve to have their parents equally in their lives, you know, obviously as long as they're a fit parent, um, then stand up, you know, ra raise your hand up and, and, um, and let's organize, let's unite as one and, 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 and make the government, whether it's state, local, federal, and the media pay attention because they're not, they're, they're not, it's not even on their radar. I've gotten no response in the last three years from any elected official, any president, any media outlet, um, but I'm just one man. But if we overwhelm them and inundate them with, with messages and, and letters, they're not going to have a choice. They're going to have to answer somebody. Um, so keep, keep this stuff in mind, you know, come election time next time. And, um, you know, ask these candidates where they stand on, uh, uh, family court and, and title 4d and child support and, and, and allowing kids to have equal and impeded access to both parents. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, that a father was murdered during a scheduled visitation and that it's getting virtually no coverage. And, um, you know, that probably happens a lot more often than we think, you know, um, there's, there's approximately 200 parental kidnapping cases a day in the U.S. that are reported. And I'd venture to say there's probably two or three times that that are unreported. And um, 48 of those 200 are international. Again, no media coverage, no, no government official is, 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 is doing anything about this. You know, the Supreme Court passed the Parental Kidnapping Act, right? But none of the states enforce it. And if you bring it to a, a state trooper, a sheriff, or the FBI, like I have, um, they, they, they just push you away. Um, I've, had, I've had law enforcement hang up on me, scream at me, and um, you know, I, I remain calm and, and, um, and I just let, let them do their thing. But no one, no one wants to, uh, to call the elephant in the room. And um, you know, I'm asking everybody out there to please you know, think about this. And, and, um, and join me in this, in this uh, fight against uh, this, this gender biased um, and violation of our kids' human rights. Um, you know, thanks everybody uh, that, that, that watched this, listened to this, um, and I hope, I hope to have your support. The Father's Rights Movement has been um, amazing. I reached out to them when I was in Alaska. Each state has a chapter. There's also a national one. And um, any donations you could give to them would certainly help the cause. And um, it's the father's rights movement, but it, 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 they're, they're fighting for the kids, you know. Um, so don't be discouraged by the name. And we're always looking for other people to, to join us. Um, and I think it's our best chance to unite as one and to fight um, these atrocities that are happening in family court. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care.